Hey guys, it's Michelle and we're back for another one of my toy videos. Like I said, I've come across quite a few of them. Like I said that we'll be talking about other things in the future. But we're going to go through some of these toys I have. Some of them will be getting sold just because there's no attachment. And some of them are just going into storage because i got to put them away for now. But we're just going to get started. This first one, probably one of the, like the last Happy Meal toys I got. Um, I was an adult at this point. So this is the little girl um, Shrek doll. I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Um, but it does make sounds. So this is what she looks like in her little diaper. Just makes baby sounds. Well, that's lovely. It's kind of cute. works so I'm gonna put her probably on eBay I know people really like her very very cute um, I have a Dronky from a kit some kind of action figure set I think this came from Shrek the second it's just I don't know I know like they had names like after food I do not remember the name of this Dronky probably gonna sell them with the Shreky baby I do not remember the Dronky's name. I used to think these things were cute, but looking at this one, he's kind of creepy. I remember like thinking, oh my god, they're so adorable. I don't know. So next, oh my gosh, guys, they're like all over the place. And I discovered things that I didn't realize that I actually had. I thought they were lost, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to try to like separate these things by collection so that like, you know, It'll be easier to do videos with. This thing, I don't know if you guys remember when stuff was made like this. I've had this forever. I had a purple one too at one time. I don't, it's just made out of these little plastic beads. It's nothing special. I don't know if they've been making anything out of any, like, stuff like this anymore. Um, but I was fascinated with this as a kid. I had a purple one that mom's dog ate. It's just a ball, but they're very fragile because the way it's made, it's like these little rubber pieces. I don't know if you can actually get the details on here. But, um, come on, will you focus for once? Please don't focus on my hands. It's not really focusing. But it's made out of, I'm sure somebody must recognize what this is. Let's go into, there we go. There we go. This is very weird. But I was fascinated with these. These were like all over the place. Some had balls in them. I mean, bells in them and stuff. But I was really, really like mesmerized by these things. I don't know. I had that one and I had a purple one when I was younger. But my mom's dog ate it. Because, you know, that's what dogs are for. So I'm just separating these into like little sets as I'm finding them, guys. So, we got that going for us. So, I know there are some random ones here we're just going to get into next is this little doll i don't even know what to do with her my brother gave her to me it says germany on it but this does not look like traditional german dress to me at least not her name is tinkerbell doll oh it came with a lipstick okay but this is what she looks like got these little this is an older doll and it, it says it came with a lipstick but that's long gone she's got those sleepy eye things going on i guess it's kind of a german outfit i got lots of dolls like this so she's probably going to be put up for sale she's, oops, she's a little bit more interesting but um i can't keep all of them so she's got to go so that's going in that pile this one's a keeper, so we'll put that there. Okay, next, um, I have one of these little Furbies. My brother has a ton of these. So these are really popular at McDonald's. Um, this is the first Furby craze. So this one does, covers his eyes, just hit his little butt. My brother had a huge thing for the Furby. Um, I, not so much, but he's kind of cute. Very interesting. If they had tons of he was like obsessed with them, but he's going to. This one came from, it doesn't tell me who made this toy. I think this might have been a Wendy's toy. It's a cow and chicken. 
And what you do is you take this. And you can kind of see cow and chicken dancing in there. It's a little keychain. I never liked cow and chicken. Anthony loved cow and chicken as well. Um, not my thing at all. Um, I hated cow and chicken. Next, these I really like, but I'm on the fence if I want to keep them or not. These came from A Bug's Life, and this was like when you bought a, a meal. You could get these for, I think, like 99 cents. So these were um, watches. So you have this one from A Bug's Life. It says on the back, A Bug's Life. It's got the big Donald's emblem. Um, almost, the, the water's almost out. These were just digital keychain clocks. And it's Hopper and, I think his name was Flit, Flit. I don't remember the um, ant's name. Flit? Flick? What's a flick? But he's supposed to move, but he's not moving very well. Probably because, like, the water is gone. But um, he's supposed to move in there. But he's not moving very well. The second one that I have here is this soda pop top one and they don't work I'm not sure if they work at all anymore they need watch batteries but when you open this one up inside it's um, Manny and Heimlich I think is what their names were if I'm not mistaken but pretty cute we'll see I may keep these I haven't decided on that as of yet um, next, this is a newer toy. This was a puppy in my pocket. This is a newer one. This is a King Charles, which is why he has a crown on. He's cute. He's fuzzy. He's going. I don't have any attachment to this guy either. I thought it was cute at the time. He's fuzzy. But the originals, in my opinion, way better. Um, let's see here. Next, I forgot the name... This was also part of the Furby line. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was like a Shelly or a Shelby. Do you remember these things? I'm going to probably combine him with the Furby. He used to talk when you did this. Like they came out later on because the Furbies were so popular. So they came out with these other weird kind of creature things. I never liked these silly things. But we got him him as well. I'm going to see if I can find like just random ones that don't have a collection. Okay, here we go. So we have this, I don't, this came in a little plastic bottle when we first moved to the area that I live in now. It's just a really, really old, super old, you can tell. Just a little baby doll. But there's something about these old baby dolls that I could find a tad charming. I they don't make them like this anymore. Kind of cute. Her, the plastic she's made out of though is kind of sticky and gross. Like her feet are a little sticky. But she's super cute. I like this one. Um, let's see. We still have some time. I'm trying to like, as I'm going through these with you, I'm, I'm trying to like separate the ones that have like collections. This was one of my favorites. There was a dinosaur museum with like animatronic dinosaurs that came into town when I was a child. And I was and still love the Triceratop. Um, the Triceratop's my favorite. And this little guy, you couldn't separate me from this little Troy Triceratop. He's made by Applause. Let me see, there's a year on it. It's so worn. It's probably not. No. It just says Applause on it. I don't know the year. But isn't he cute? He's just a little stuffed toy and he went with me everywhere at some point he is very very old but I adore this little guy so we got him next one is this guy where'd you come from I wanted to say this is a Wendy's toy I feel like the Wendy's toys do not put their names on them I don't know why but there is this little E.T. so this is E.T. and he's got flowers um, I think this is when the movie was re-released and they added all those new parts in it. Uh, hello. Can we focus? Focus. Sorry, guys. There he is. There's E.T. with his flowers, and if you crank him up, he walks. 
And there's this little tail. The details on them are pretty cool. Although I always thought E.T., the way E.T. was shaped, was pretty weird. I don't know what type of alien he's supposed to be, like a cross between a gray and some other thing. I really don't know. He's super cute. But he's going to go too, I think. But guys, we are going. I'm going to get going so I can separate these toys a little bit better. I, mean, I know I'm sorry for the weird angle. Um, so that I can show you them in a more organized way. So I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you soon.